Hi there and welcome to Polywog Lagoon. I have some of the Cars 3 cast here with me today and we're going to read the part 2 of the Essential Guide from the Disney Pixar Cars 3 movie. Hope you're excited to get started. If you like our videos and want to see more fun to come, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Okay, see you soon. Okay, it looks like everyone is ready to go. We'll go ahead and get our book and get ready to start reading. Here we have the Disney Pixar Cars 3 Essential Guide, full of fun facts, cool characters, and amazing locations. We have already read the first part, so we are on this page here. Natalie Certain. Here's Natalie Certain right here. How are you doing, Natalie? Mm, pretty good. The TV racing pundit Natalie Certain believes that there's nothing greater than data. The analyst uses her mathematical mind to predict the winner of each race. Many viewers count on her predictions. Number cruncher. Natalie is certain that data is always right. However, her calculations don't take into account the incredible passion that drives champions like Lightning McQueen. Nothing to lose. Natalie's statistics tell her that Jackson Storm is 96.8% unstoppable to win and beat Lightning McQueen. Is she wrong to write Lightning off so easily? Bitter Chick. Natalie appears on a TV show named Chick's Picks. It is presented by Chick Hicks, an old racing rival of Lightning McQueen. These days, the vile veteran uses his show to fire cheap insults at his former nemesis. True or false, Natalie uses a computer program to help crunch the data and predict the winners. True, but she's a whiz at doing math in her head. She doesn't need the data cruncher that much. Fact packed, Natalie's knowledge of racers is amazing. She's an expert on everything from weight distribution to aerodynamics. Her occupation is a statistical analyst. Top speed, 27 calculations per minute. Specialty, near genius number crunching. Vehicle type, Evil Motors Provoke Qantas 4S. She is freshly polished. She has a dark red paint job, an amazing analytical mind, and her quote, the racing world is changing. Numbers don't lie. So you want to be a racing data analyst? The first thing you need to learn is that numbers don't lie. There's a huge amount of racer data to help predict a winner. Here's my lowdown on the downforce, optimum speed, and some of the other key factors you'll need. Good luck. Have you heard? Natalie has correctly predicted more Piston Cup winners than any other race pundit. Weight distribution. The weight distribution of a car is the amount of weight in the front compared to the back. This can seriously affect the speed of the car, so every racer needs to find their ideal balance. Consistency. There's Jackson Storm. Hey Jackson Storm. A consistent racer is a winning racer. A car who can hold their position on every single lap of a race is more likely to take top spot on the podium. Optimum speed. It's not always about top speed, but the speed a car can hold lap after lap. If it's higher than their rival racers, then you know that's the winner. Jackson Storm stays at optimum speed. He does an excellent job of that. Drag coefficient. The aerodynamics of a car, how its shape meets the oncoming air, heavily affects the performance. The lower the drag coefficient number, the less the car is slowed down from oncoming air. Tire pressure. The amount of air in a racer's tires must be optimized for speed, grip, and safety. Tire pressure levels are closely linked to each car's performance data. Downforce. This is a downward force produced by cars as they drive on the track. High downforce means that the racers increase the grip on the tires as they go around corners. That is a lot of information there. The final race, Storm to seal the deal. Are you gonna seal the deal, Jackson Storm? Are you gonna win the race? I guess we'll see. Racing sensation Jackson Storm is expected to be the Piston Cup champion after today's final race of the season. With an incredible 10 wins, this rookie has dominated the sport in his debut season. Piston Times, racing champ crashes. Oh no, Lightning McQueen crashes and gets a big owie. Lightning McQueen has been involved in a serious crash. The popular racer took a lot of damage when he lost control trying to overtake Jackson Storm. After receiving treatment, McQueen is set to return to Radiator Springs for a long recovery. The Daily Exhaust. McQueen, the has-been? Piston Cup fans wonder if the next race might be Lightning McQueen's last. McQueen has been unable to match Jackson Storm's performance. Many of his old trackmates have retired and been replaced by next-gen racers. Is this the end for Lightning McQueen? A fallen hero. 
Is this the end for Lightning McQueen? No announcement has been made about his future. Statistical analyst Natalie Certain feels that McQueen's future is very uncertain. TV show host and former racer Chick Hicks seems happy to report that his old rival is down for the count. Have you heard? Lightning's old sponsors, Rusty and Dusty, once owned the team. And they sold Rusty's brand to Sterling. Here's Sterling. They sold it in order to give Lightning his best shot at a comeback. Go Lightning! When Lightning decides to return to racing, his Radiator Springs pals give him a great send off to the racing center. They just know that he'll get back on top. The Super Center. From the practice track and grand waterway on the grounds to the simulators and the jaw-dropping main building, the Rusty Center has everything racers need. There's even a Zen room. Look at the big number 95. The 95, like on Lightning Queen, his number. Oh, and there's Dusty and Rusty. Hey, you guys. How you doing? Rust Ease Racing Center. The brand new Rust Ease Racing Center is the ultimate place for training racers. Packed full of the best equipment, the center is geared towards producing the next generation of champions. Sterling. The new Rust Ease owner, Sterling, has invested in creating the new center. His business, car's commitment to racing and money making, has delivered a world class facility. Racing legend, Lightning McQueen has long been with Rust Ease. See? Rust Ease. The Racing Center celebrates his legendary success with a collection of memorabilia and a huge number 95 to inspire other racers. Cruz Ramirez! Here's Cruz Ramirez! Hey Cruz! How you doing? Cruz Ramirez is a major factor in the success of the next gens. With her quirky coaching methods and instinct for knowing what makes a racer tick, Cruz can turn a rookie into a winner. Ready to meet it, greet it, and defeat it, says Cruz Ramirez. True or false, Cruz can go even faster than some of the racers she trains. True, she whizzes around the simulator track. She was meant to be a racer. Top trainer. Cruz is the best trainer at Rusty's Racing Center and probably in the country. Her results are incredible, especially for someone so new to the business. She finds the best in each of her racers. Ramirez the racer? Cruz once dreamed of becoming a racer herself. She may enjoy training others, but deep down, she still longs to be on the track. <laughs> Full of fun. Training with Cruz is never dull. Her offbeat sense of humor, lively personality, and unusual training methods means that there's often a surprise just around the corner. A bright yellow paint job. Each of Cruz's tires has a name, and the body is made of lightweight alloy. Cruz Ramirez, top speed, 210 miles per hour. Start time, 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Vehicle type, 2017 CRS Sports Coupe. Engine, high performance, DOHC V6. Racing mind, when Mr. When Mr. McQueen first saw me on the simulator, he mistook me for a racer. Perhaps it's because of my lazing lap times. I know that feeling in my engine of wanting to win. Next Gen School. I've trained some of the best rookies that are aiming to qualify for the Piston Cup. They are young, hungry, and eager to learn. True or false, as an example to the racers she trains, Cruz has a name for each of her wheels. True, they are named Maria, Juanita, Ronaldo, and Debbie Richardson. It's all about motivation, says Cruz Ramirez. Senior Project. Mr. McQueen has a traditional approach. He isn't used to technology like the simulator, and he's a little flabby around the tires. I call him my Senior Project. Time to train. I've sent Mr. McQueen in an intense training program. He does dance class and aerobics and practices visualizing beating Jackson Storm to get him in the zone. Come on, Lightning McQueen. Exercise those tires and stretch. Oh. Cruz the Coach. As a top trainer, I create the perfect program for each racer. I work on sharpening technical skills, get the guys in shape, and focus on drive and ambition. Some even call me the maestro of motivation. Have you heard? Cruz uses music and pictures to help her racers focus, especially if they are feeling homesick. The Racing Simulator. The green flag is out. Have you heard the Rusty Center Simulator? Is model XDL24 GTS Mark Z top of the range? You have jumped a barrier. You have destroyed a building. You are on fire. Danger. Danger. You are going the wrong way. You have hit a wall. You have crashed. You have crashed. Practice makes perfect. By notching up the difficulty of the racing conditions on the simulator, you can learn how to be and know how to beat the very best. Oh man, he looks a little uneasy. Huh, Lightning McQueen? That's just not quite your style. Fireball Beach. Racers love to practice at the old Fireball Beach track. The challenging sand, ocean views, and sea air make it an exhilarating ride. Lightning McQueen decides to train outside in real conditions rather than in the virtual reality of the simulator. Abandoned pier, lightning speed ahead, stays on hard-packed sand, and there are stormy skies. Have you heard when Cruz trains with lightning at Fireball Beach, it's the first time she's ever coached a racer outside? Ooh! 
Ooh, she has a little bit of trouble learning how to drive on the beach. Who's the coach? When Cruz tags along to Lightning's beach practice, she's the one who has problems. He has to teach her how to race on the sand and not get her tires stuck. Too much wheel spin! Sandy Speedway. Fireball Beach was once one of the best races in Piston Cup. The only downside was that when cars skidded around corners, fans in the stand were showered with sand. Oh, they get sand in their eyes. Yay! We are done with our part two for now. So if you tune into my next video, we can go over part three. Thank you so much to each one of you for joining me. We had such a great time reading that essential guide, the part two. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.